Hey, I'm Patty from Alderman Farms. Welcome to our camper van tour. We have a 2018 Ford Transit van. It's got a 350 in it and it's an Echo Boost. It also is an XLT. Um, and I just love it. It has got great pickup and I have was a little concerned about driving it because it is it's so big but uh, I love it it drives I, it drives as good or better than my little minivan I had the first thing you see when you come in the van is these little things I don't really know what you call them uh, little pouch things that they weren't made to go on the back of the seat but I have them secured on here um, I have one for me and one for Tommy. Tommy has not packed his yet. I have my daily meds here. Uh, another med that I take at night. Um, a bug spray. Uh, some coupons if we get to stop at Burger King. We don't normally eat out, but uh, on our trip, we may just very well do that. I have a little set of binoculars and hand sanitizer and open space. We're actually pa packing now to go on a trip, so I'm sure I will fill them up. Um, I do have one thing in Tommy's. I have some pine saw or pine glue. It's like pine saw. Um, it's a cheaper brand because this is our toilet. Um, we don't plan to use the toilet much in the van, but if we need to, we have it. Um, it's just, uh, it's like a handicap toilet that could go by your bed. We had this from my mom. Um, and what I'm going to do, I have a plastic bag in here. And I'm going to get some peat moss, and I will put some of that in here, and with a little pine saw, so that I think that should help with the smell. You see, I've got some water stored in plastic. I have a, I didn't want to put anything that wasn't protected by the toilet. Um, we have our tackle boxes way back there, and I do have this, uh, uh, what is it called? TV tray right there, just for an extra little table in here if we need it. Um, right here is just my snack bin and you see I, I've used bungees to secure everything because this would come off uh, and I, we, I'm going to be bad on the trip. I bought us some bad snacks. Uh, that's our treat for our trip. Um, and then right here is just different miscellaneous items. I have bug spray and I have a big um, uh, raincoat and we have our Eno so hopefully we'll get to Eno there. Um, I'm keeping my uh, ice chest right here, right when you come in the door. It's a nice little place to sit. Uh, I like to put on your shoes in the morning or whatever. So I like having it right there. Plus, it's kind of out of the way. Uh, then right behind it, from the way with the way Tommy's built the bed, see it's it's got plywood there, and we can actually have this bed on a hinge because we can actually turn that up and we can put in one of our seats right here. It's called, we call it, it's, they call it the jump seat. And so we usually will have that in here when we're not traveling for if we have our grandson, uh, he can uh, have a place to sit. But anyway, I just have extra blankets stored right here, some extra snacks in here. Um, I have our chairs wedged in here. That's the thing about the camper vans uh, and van camping is, you know, finding a place to put everything. Because my goal, you see the floor is wide open. I wanted that. It just, I don't want to be climbing over stuff. Uh, the way we've done this, you know, it's not uh, the fancy van builds. One day we might actually want to come in and put drawers that we've made um, in here. But right now this is working. This is a little three-door drawer chest that's a that's narrow this is a narrow one two narrow ones this is for like our underwear and socks and night clothes and then we just have some personal drawer and then i have some shoes down there tommy has one also and then down from there is another three drawer can um uh, chest thing that um he will put his clothes in and then i have mine over here that i have my clothes in so we each get the wider three drawer and a slender three drawer and that's all the clothes we can bring so that helps to cut down on the amount of clothes we will have to wash probably one time while we're on a trip we're going to be gone two weeks further down is my kitchen and i'm going to show y'all that in a minute from the back um i wanted to show you how our beds are uh the, we've got our sleeping bags on our beds and we also have these mattresses we got from amazon they actually fold you can see the crease right there 
And so this is how we sleep in the van. This is the uh, front with, uh, no, I can't call the name of it. But anyway, to, uh, to block out the light and everything, that's what we put in our front windshield. That's where it travels. The rest of it travels on Tommy's side, for his side of the van, it's on his side of the bed. And for my side of the van, it's under my side of the bed. And we just built this table because you see, I'll show you how the mattresses, we had cut this to fit in, but you see the mattress is way too big and you really felt like you were falling off the bed. So we decided I wanted to have a table. And so the table is doubling for uh, to um, a mattress rest down at the back of the van, but also it will be our table. In the front of the van, uh, I've just got some of my books. Uh, we're going to be going to see some places Laura lived. And so I have my Laura Ingle Wilder's book, a few of them. Uh, I have some other books to look at and just odds and ends up here. And we have our raincoats, uh, or two little rain uh, capes, and our medicine kit. One thing I did want to show you is the way I've done my clip here. We put uh, one of these hooks and then it just hooks on to right here so I can let it go. I can get to all of my drawers and then I can just easily reattach it like that. And so the uh, other ones that I have, I actually have them hooked on just to the, to the back lip like right here but in the back and I just pull them down and hook them on the bottom drawer. Uh, it, it definitely keeps the drawers closed. When you're going down the road, the drawers will just come open or when you turn a curve. So we, I found that out the hard way. I kind of thought when they were heavier, didn't had stuff in them, that they wouldn't, that wouldn't happen. Not true. They just come flying open. Okay, now this is our view from the back of the van. Um, I braised the table up to where it's actually a table. This was what was between the beds down here. Um, and the way we did that is that we have a screw or a bolt that we just raise it up and slide it in the slot and it stops the table from going all the way to the floor to become the go between between the beds. Over here is where we're going to keep our water that we're not drinking. Uh, the water that I'll use to wash dishes and stuff like that. We'll keep it in here. And I just have some of those little extra things. I have my little toolkit back there heater, extra propane bottles, or hammer, broom, stuff like that. But this is my favorite part of the van. This is my cook table. We've made it on a pipe, just like we made the big table. There's my cook table. And I will just pull my Coleman stove out. And set it up right here. I have all of my utensils handy. I have my different pots that I'm bringing. I have my spatulas. And the reason I have the, the plastic stuff is because I went and bought me this pot because I have one other big pot and it's very easy to clean up. And so that's why I wanted to uh, bring one of those camping is because they're so easy to clean up. So I have that all very easily, with easy access and I can cook right here on my stove. But then I've located my kitchen right here. And, and I can access all this from the back of the van. I've got my bungee. Um, I have towels, uh, dish towels. I have, I will wash dishes in a dish pan. Um, and I'll just heat me a little water on the stove if I need warm water to wash with. I have our coffee pot in here, other bowls and stuff like that. And then I actually, I wasn't sure if I would have enough room, but I actually have enough room for some of our food that is in here. So I have different food. I have some flour. I have brought biscuit mix. I've got peanut butter. I've got a few potatoes. Um, so I don't plan on doing a whole lot of cooking while we're gone, but I want to be able to cook if I want to. So one thing we'll definitely try and eat from here is breakfast. And then I have, this is just our forks and spoons, um, cough drops, and then this is some more medicine right here. I just have it put, placed right there. Um, I have it facing the back of the van 
number one when I am cooking I can get to my utensils but um, where the drawers this the drawers really slide bad in here so they'll be facing the back of the van where they can't come rolling out in the van like I said this is my very favorite part of the van I can't wait to be out camping and cooking with all my stuff but the back of the van is actually where we got our name for the van you know people name their vans and it's usually girl names and I thought of Jingle and Tommy didn't like that he thought of Mr. Haney can y'all guess why Anyway, it was much worse. Uh, I've got uh, my pot holders hanging in between my pots. It was all full going down the road. So I may even have to do some more uh, towel hanging. That's why I have this towel hanging right here because you should have heard the racket going down the road. So we don't want to be traveling with racket. So, but our new van name is Mr. Haney. Well, it just occurred to me that some of you may not know where the name Mr. Haney came from. I'm sure a lot of you will know, but there was a TV show called Green Acres that I watched reruns of. Tommy says he watched the original but when it first came out. But anyway, uh, there was an old man on there. Well, I guess, he, I guess he was probably our age. He wasn't old. He wasn't old. It was a man on there that uh, had a peddler's truck, and they would hear him coming from all the clanking, before he actually got to their house. And so, uh, you know, he had pots and pans and all kinds of stuff like that that he sold. Well, that's what the, all the clanking was in our van. And so I thought Jingle would be funny and Tommy thought of Mr. Haney. So, Mr. Haney, it is. Now, where did I see that sign? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for my van tour. I've got to go get busy though, and I've got some cooking to do, and I've got to finish packing because we're leaving tomorrow on a two-week trip in our van, so we're going to be documenting it along the way. I'm sure we'll find out a lot of things that would be helpful uh, for us and maybe for you too. Um, some things that uh, I thought would work that might not work because this is our first real long trip in our van so uh, come join us if you haven't subscribe and hit the thumbs up and ring that bell